my viewers asked me to do an alignment uh, or attempt to do a setup on a uh, stereo decoder um, on one of my radios. Now, the only radio I've got in the workshop is this old Arkham. Um, I've got no manual for it, um, so I'm going by what I understand and how that how they work. Um, I've got a what I'm doing is I'm injecting a hundred megahertz signal from the Marconi signal generator straight into the front end of the radio and tuned to 100 megahertz as you can see the oscillator is slightly off frequency um, at the moment it's running on its internal um, modulation but what I plan to do is inject a 19 kilohertz um, signal uh, the external input of the modulation circuit into from the uh, signal generator here so taking 19 kilohertz from here and injecting it into the Marconi to to give me the pilot tone to activate the stereo decoder. That's the plan. There's my 19 kilohertz coming from the Philips. So what I'm about to try now is, first of all, I've got to turn the power up a bit because the signal is actually very weak. And I haven't even got enough to activate the... And I can't actually use the stereo switch mode anyway because it activates the muting circuit because the signal's so weak. So what I'm going to do is turn the RF level up to uh, 5 microvolts. Okay. Green light is locked in tune so that's good. It sounds quiet and I can activate it in the stereo mode which means that when I inject the 19 kilohertz you should see the pilot tone come on the stereo pilot tone here this is in theory I haven't tried this this might not work um, so turn the amplitude down first on the generator so I need to select uh, now remember how to do an external modulation on this okay so it's FM external so that's externally modulated should I should have turned the volume up there's the stereo light okay so it doesn't need a lot of a signal actually to make it work that looks good what I will do is I'll activate the automatic level control so it doesn't uh, overload anything so in theory now, I'm injecting a 19 kilohertz pilot tone into the front end of the radio. Um, now if I adjust this frequency offset here, I should expect to see the light. Yep. Goes off one way. Yep. It's got a very wide capture range actually. So let's set that back to 19 kilohertz. So we've got stereo light on. I'm happy with that. Let me just set that to send fine pop to zero. So. Okay, I don't know if you can hear this. I'll turn the volume up. It, obviously, you're not, you won't hear the 19 kilohertz, and I can't hear it, but you can hear the, the increase in hisses when the stereo decoder activates. So that's gone off there, back on, off again. So 19 kilohertz. Find the tune that down to 19 kilohertz. Now, if I look at this MPX 19 kilohertz, there's a 19 kilohertz test point here. Now, that's, oh, there we've got the signal in the scope here, and that's showing a uh, like a square waveform. I don't know what these bits are on the top. That might be the audio data for the left and right. That might be the that must be the data carry. You can't see very well because of the reflection. These these bits on the top here must be the left and right data for the stereo um, signal. Um, I'm only guessing. Someone pretty quickly in this. Um, but it says here, adjust this for 19 kilohertz. Now, obviously the scope's not accurate enough to give me this, so what I'm going to do is temporarily disconnect the, the Dana um, frequency counter. Now we know that we're injecting 19 kilohertz in to activate the stop pilot tone, so we just confirm that. That's about as accurate as you're going to get, I think. Very jumpy control. That's pretty good. Okay, so we'll connect the, the um, 
scope up instead of the scope, which is generating a lot of noise. Okay, is that showing 19 kilohertz? So that's obviously okay. Got to find 19 kilohertz monitor. So that would suggest that that's all working okay. I don't know what other alignments there are. There's a 19 kilohertz monitor point here, and it says 19 kilohertz output adjust. So let's, I don't know what this will do. Maybe this is sort of like the capture range for the uh, decoder. Let's look at that a tweak. See what it does. We've got the marks, so we know. Let's get the screwdriver that fits. Nope, too big. Try this end. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. That alters the output frequency. So it looks to me like you inject the 19 kilohertz in which we're doing, and then you adjust this so it's that's back on 19 kilohertz there. The stereo light's back on. So that's working. Now, there's one other part you can do. Um, and that is these tuners of this sort of vintage and when we're still using cassette players and tape players they have a um, a trap 